everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Happy Prepper and today we're going to be talking about the downfall of a lot of preppers if a disaster would happen. So what is this weak point or major weak point that I see in a lot of preppers that not a lot of people are talking about? And the thing is that they don't have en any entertainment. And obviously if there is a disaster um, as preppers, like you're going to be very busy, you're going to be doing stuff during the day, but what happens during the night? Because if you're just sitting around, especially if you have young kids, all you're gonna think about is like, you're gonna just stress yourself out because all your mind is just gonna wander in an already stressful situation. And it's not gonna be good because you have nothing to do and you're just sitting around. So what can you do? So we're gonna be talking about a couple a couple entertainment, um, I guess a couple ways like a couple entertainment preps, you can say. So number one is just the common board games. So I have a lot of, my family has a lot of board games. We don't really play them that much. Um, but if a disaster would happen, we could use them. And they're really cool. They're really great because you can play them with your family. It's a nice way to de-stress, a little escape if a disaster would happen. Really good. Number two would just be books. And when I say books, like, I have a lot of prepping and survival books, but I just really mean an enjoyable, nice reading book, um, something that you, and some a subject that you enjoy because you don't want to be reading about prepping in a disaster and an already stressful situation because you're trying to get your mind, like, not focusing about like survival and all that stuff. So number three would be electronics. So obviously you would need a power generator or um, those power banks. Like for example, I have a Jackery and we can power like our phones or um, tablets and all that stuff. Like I'm not gonna be talk, like I'm not talking about like a um, console or like a TV, but just like common stuff like your phone, like you can download a couple games, um, for your, especially for your kids to play. But even for you, um, you could download a couple movies, and it's it's a really great idea because we use so we use um, devices so much. Like if they just taken away, we're gonna be like, it's it's not gonna be good because that's our main source of entertainment now. And obviously, during a disaster, it would be good to use the other source of entertainment like reading, board games. So um, you can strengthen your mind and it's more positive than electronics. But still, electronics, especially for younger kids, are really good in a very stressful situation. So number four would be doing a hobby. So maybe it's canning. Obviously, canning during a disaster is, has its own um, benefits. But something that de-stresses, de so maybe it's canning, baking, cooking, um, just a really cool hobby. Maybe exercising that you could do during your free time so that it's like a de-stressor. Um, that would, that's also a really good way of entertainment. So, or maybe like wood carving, that's a really good one and it has uses, but really any hobby that distracts you and de-stresses you. So I would be journaling. So I know a lot of people, like some people like journaling, some people don't. I don't really like journaling, but even just like videoing yourself and really talking about like the day, especially if a disaster would happen, because it would be a way to like, I guess like express your feeling, and it would probably be good because you could get some of that like, I guess, stress and like pressure, um, like exp express it. So if you like journaling, and maybe if you journal, this would be a good one, but it's kind of like hit, and, hit or miss, because some people like to journal. I don't, I don't really like to journal, but it would be a really good idea to try it if you are stressed out during a disaster. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe to Happy Prepper. Share the video so we can grow. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And yeah, the Instagram is growing a lot. That's really good. Um, thank you all for the support on Instagram. And Happy Prepper, out.